Hey everybody, how's it going? MDW316 back at you. And uh, for those of you already watched video, the first video, and uh, it's not there anymore. Um, yeah, there was, I don't know what happened to the audio or whatever, but it was horrible. There was no, it was really muffled. It was, I was using just one of those cheap USB microphones. So, uh, switch it up. We got a different mic. I'm trying some different. I, I changed a bunch of settings. So, hopefully, it comes in now. Like I said in that video, this is the first time using OSB, OBS, whatever, SOB. Better term for it. Um, now, first time using uh, OBS. So, it's a um, learning experience. You know, I've just used mostly use my phone or camera before or whatever but so anyways let's get down to it this is technically take three but part two video of outlaws new dip and uh what we got here oh bring that guy in that guy out okay so we got the brand new yellow brand blend. I keep wanting to say brand blend. Yellow blend. Yellow. And then we got the reformulated southern sweet tea. So let me show the camera over there. I got another camera doing. Okay. So um, I have opened these. I have used them last night. After I got them yesterday in the mail. Um, so this is going to be somewhat of a first taste. But also review of what I thought so far on these dips. So um, I'm going to do. Yesterday I did the yellow blend first. I'm going to do a review first on this. Because I've already done Southern Sweet Tea before. Um. I, when it first came out, I tried it, of course, and I like it. So, what I'm going to do. Oh, 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 oh. Kind of dipper, am I, right? It says right on the label. PDSE. Right? I didn't pack it. I just going to go right in for the good stuff. So, why? I don't know. I have to revoke my dip card or something maybe temporary suspension all right look at that good stuff oh falling in my hand um got a nice sheen to it. it it's got real it's moist you can feel the moisture um it feels soft um but at the same time it feels chunky you know it, it does it's not like a even a long grain or long cut like stoker's winter green is what i you know, been doing since Tough Guy and Allah have been shut down for a while. Um, that has a, a finer feel. This is chunkier, but at the same time, it feels softer. So, um, in the future, when they disclose um, what type of material they use, um, ingredient, whatever, um, it'll be interesting to find out because... Yeah, that's, um, yeah, it, you know, your guess is good as mine what they use. So that's some scientists out there is analyzing it right now, which it out. Um, yeah, let's throw this bad boy in. Hmm. Ooh, oh, come on now. Gotta wipe it off in the can. Remember that, kids. Or not kids. If you're under age 21, you shouldn't be dipping. At least by the state of New York. Where I live. Well, remember, always wipe, wipe, wipe off this stuff on your fingers, right back in your can. Free tip Thursday. And, and then you can see, I wiped most off on the can, but you can see some wetness there. From the dip. Anyways, get on to the review of the dip. Much better than 
than the old Southern Sweet Tea. Much, much better. It's got a smoother flavor, in my opinion. It's not the old Southern Sweet Tea, other than having a new can lid design. Um, and, of course, the product is tobacco-free now. Um, it, it's got uh, a more southern sweet tea flavor. But the old stuff before, I found, was very lemony. And that kind of put me off because, to me, it tasted almost like cleaning fluid. Um, like that lemon cleaning stuff you spray and you can smell it what it tastes like to me before. I like that. Oh, not saying not, not saying that I like quick thing for a little bit. Um no the dip, the sun sweet tea, I like it was a good dip before. I did it occasionally. Um wasn't an everyday thing for me. It's too lemony like I said. That nice dark spit, I guess I'm not um yeah very good very good job yeah stop can't talk um i'm enjoying it so much that i can't even talk um yeah very very good stuff i i really like it um as far as being an everyday um Maybe, maybe one dip a day. Um, you know, can go anywhere from, well, I, most days, except for when I'm eating and drinking, some, a lot, you know, I, um, regularly have a dip in. Um, help, I, for me, it helps, uh, I tend to have dry mouth a lot. So, um, this helps, you know, produce saliva. It, it helps induce saliva buildup. So, to me, this really helps um, keep my mouth from drying out and getting that, you know, kind of nasty breath and whatnot from dry mouth. So, that's why I started dipping again, a few, you know, a while back. Um, I started dipping originally, like, oh, God, I'm going to tell my age here, but um, let's see. Yeah, roughly 25, 26, 27 years ago, somewhere around there, about 27 years ago, when I originally started, um, and then kind of quit, you know, for a while, but came back to it, um, but, uh, yeah, it's just Southern Sweet Tea is very good, it's a more balanced flavor now, because you're getting a mild hint of The lemon, very, very little though. See, that was the old stuff was, to me, lemon tea. Not so much southern sweet tea. Um, but this has that more, tastes like you poured a glass of tea. Nice sweet tea, you know, that's what it tastes like. No tobacco flavor, again, because this is tobacco free. Does have the nicotine in it, but... Nicotine hasn't been proven to hurt, harm anything, or, or, you know, be harmful to you, so, excessive amounts, maybe, but, you know, and I like, um, I really like how this feels in my lip, it's not, like I said, the past few months, when Tough Guy and Outlaw been down, I've turned to Stoker's Wintergreen, now, my previous daily was a, uh, the Tough Guy Cinnamon. I really love the Tough Guy Cinnamon. That's my favorite. I hope you bring it back, Outlaw. If you don't, please, please bring back Wintergreen because, yo, know, Wintergreen was good stuff, too. Hmm. Yeah. Good. Uh, I almost don't want to take this one out. But, this is a review. Get some more. Oh, I forgot to tell you. My joke of the day. It is let's get that good old mud jug emblem right there. It is the Lone Star. Um, like I said, I live in New York, but did live in Texas for a while. We do have a lot of family down there. 
and they're currently bugging us to come down for Christmas, so when you watch this, you know, it might already be done or not. But, um, anyways, <clears throat> yeah, um, we have a lot of family down there. My wife's half of her family lives down there, so we have a lot of good ties down there. Texas, beautiful state, a lot of good people, um, beautiful place, beautiful. Can't wait to go back down. But, um, yeah, all right, let's get this guy out. I've been rambling too much already. I find out um, with this stuff. Like I said, I did the video yesterday, and um, the audio was horrible, so I took it down because <clears throat> I didn't. I don't want to put out a bad video if I can help it. There's one good um, trick from Outlaw that I did learn. Um, you know, rinsing your mouth out. Even if you're not putting another dip in right away, rinse your mouth out. <clears throat> this helps get the, before the tobacco leave, residue off your teeth, which is stain your teeth. Hopefully, you know, this stuff being something different, hopefully it won't have that effect. But I find the clean out is very good with this stuff. It just, it's not like the long cut. Where it tends to sometimes stick in your teeth. And I got a couple of little crooked teeth in the front that it likes to get behind. But um, so far this stuff, you know, like I said last night, I was dipping it. And um, very good. Very, very overall. Alright, now we got the yellow blend. Yellow! That's what it says. Y-E-L-L. -L. O O O W W W. All right. Let's see. That was in the left side, so let's throw this guy in the right side. Again, nice sheen, so you know it's moist. Nice dark color. Beautiful dark color. I love that. Pinch is good. Mmm. I said originally, I'm gonna dip them. Okay. Originally, my first video, again, like I said, I'm experimenting with OBS right now. And my first video had no audio and no video. So this was going to be an unboxing or unpackaging, cracking the seal. Showing y'all that it's, you know, first, first experience, but, um, yeah, it is what it is. You know, things happen. Life happens. What are you going to do? You know, beat yourself up over it? Yeah. Just move on. That's how we learn, right? We make mistakes. We move on. Um, so, yeah, this, um, this yellow blend is outlaws. Pineapple rum blend. He said his description is it's like drinking a pina colada or a cocktail on the beach, which um I could see, I could really see. I get that flavor. I get that strong pineapple, but not the really oversweet pineapple. Um, juice mm, it up right away. Good stuff. Um, but yeah, it's, um, very good. Very, very good flavor. I like it. Um, like I was saying about feeling in the mouth, it feels good. Let me get your mind out of the gutter. I'm not talking about that. Um, but now the, the dip feels good. It's soft. It's not, doesn't feel like it's scratching on my gums. It, um, seems to be staying in position really good. It's not moving around, no, but, ooh, excuse me, pardon me. Um, yeah, it just feels, feels good. Um, I always found with the Outlaw or Tough Guy Dip in the past that you get those little scragglers, they, you know, a little piece wants to wander in the back or wander around front. That's, you know, with a fat cut like this, you're going to get that. 
Um, which I don't, I don't mind, you know. It is what it is. It's good though. I like it. I, so far, I'm really enjoying this product. And like I said in the other video, I'm going to, once I get down to like, probably the last of these cans, you know, one, one last pinch, I'll, um, I'll make another video and um, show you putting in the last last pinch of each and um, let you know how I feel about then. Um, but so far, really good stuff. Really good stuff. Um, yeah, I really don't know what to say um, negative about it so far. Um, you know, take it is take it for what it is. Um, take, you know, use my opinion as you feel. If you want to try this product, give it a try. I say try them; they're really good. Um, like I said, my daily before was um, the yeah, tough guy cinnamon. So I tend to like the like a little spicier, like because that tastes kind of like um, big red chewing gum or Fireball. You know, when it was atomic fireballs or something. Like that. But, um, yeah, really, yeah, yeah, good flavor. I don't know. I don't know what else to, to say about it. Um, I'm so far very pleased with what has been put out. Um, I'm going to go ahead and order uh, the Badass Bourbon because he reformulated that. Um, I did like the bourbon before. To me, it had... Too much of a, almost like a burnt oak barrel flavor. Um, so, but I didn't mind it. It was, it was okay. Um, not a daily type dip, but, you know, something that I would put in every once in a while when I was just in the mood for something different. Um, let's see, what else? Um, Lucky Lipper. Yeah, I might... I might just go ahead and order all of them um, and try them out. I know I don't think he changed the um, the lipper too much, or maybe even the um, wild watermelon. I don't know. I think he might have they changed them slightly, but probably not much. Um, so I'll probably I'll probably get the rest of them, give them a shot, and I'll do the same thing. I'm gonna pull up a video and review them and tell you what I think. So. Um, hopefully, um, you watch this, you enjoy it, take it for what it is, like I said, it's my opinion. You know, you might get them, you might not like them. There's going to be haters out there, I know. Allah knows, I know. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, I did put a short little video out on Twitter and Instagram. Um, about the same thing. Uh, check me out there. Uh, Instagram is MDW316 also. Um, and Twitter is MuddyPlays. M-U-D-D-Y-P-L-A-Y-Z. Um, check me out there. Give me a follow. Um, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Give this, give this video a thumbs up, please. That helps. Um, the channel grow. Um, and I plan on doing more of these type of videos. And I got some other stuff coming out. We're going to have some car, tent, car type videos. Um, we're currently rebuilding a 4 liter Jeep YZ. Uh, uh, yeah, Jeep YZ. Jeep. Let me start that over. <laughs> um, yeah, we're, doing, we're currently doing an uh, engine rebuild. On a 98 Jeep Grand Cherokee um, ZJ, 4 liter engine. Um, we got most of it painted and whatnot already and cleaned up, ready to go. So we're going to start installing parts and I'm going to post a video on that, I think, coming up shortly. Um, so yeah, like I said, subscribe to the channel. First time here. Um, if it's not, give it, give it a subscribe anyways. Like I said, we're going to, this 2020 is going to be the year. MDW316 channel is going to start growing, post some more videos. So, um, give a subscribe, 
share it if you like it. If you know some other dippers out there that are thinking about trying this. Um, and of course, like, like always, give it a thumbs up if you like. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Um, like I said, it's my first time using OBS, so hopefully it all goes well this time. Got a different mic. Seems to be working better. But, um, yeah. So, as always, live your life to the fullest, everybody. Be happy. Do what you enjoy. Even if it doesn't make other people happy, as long as you're not hurting anybody, it makes you happy, do it. Uh, follow your dreams. Don't ever give up. Um, never too late, either. You're never too late to follow a dream. So, um, yeah. Um, as we always say here on the MDW316 channel, we'll see you when we see you. We wouldn't want to be. Peace.